Hi everybody, time for another Asus ROG Ally video. And in this one, I'm gonna show you how you can change your screen resolution and refresh rate. Now, this is the non-extreme version of the Z1 chip. Um, so as you can imagine, it's a little bit slower than the extreme one. So you'll, if you've got one of these, you may well want to run it at 720p, or it could be that you're running particularly demanding games especially in handheld mode when you're only at 15 watts TDP, and you want to try it at 720p, and I would highly recommend running at 720p um, as a method for making runs game make, making games run better. It's easy for me to say, because, it, because the screen is absolutely amazing with variable refresh rate. So there's a, as you'd probably guess, there's a couple of ways of doing this. So what you could do is just make sure we're in... Um, control mode we could go and click in that little button down there i don't know what it's called in windows 11 but you click on that and you go to settings just there and you can go to display and then you can scroll down and you'll have advanced display there and it tells you what you've got at the moment so mine's at the moment is set for, for 720 at 60 hertz but what you can do is if you click on display adapter properties for display one and then go list all modes. This tells you, you know, what what this, the panel can do. I even go down by to six forty by four eighty, so you can choose whichever you want when you want. Now I've gone down to uh, twelve eighty by seven twenty at sixty hertz to save battery life, but mainly to make games run better. So that's one way you can do it. The other th way you can do it is through um, the command center. Because on the command center, you have, if you scroll down, you well, you can have changing the resolution there, 720p, and also changing the refresh rate. However, they might not be on your command center straight away. So what you need to do is go into the Armory Crate software, go into settings, and then go to edit command center. And as you scroll down, you'll get go to a, a space in it. So click on plus and then look around and then add on the um, resolution and the refresh rate panels um, and then basically what you can then do is come back and then uh, come out of there when you go into here they will then appear and you can just click on it so we've got 900p 1080p we've got 120 hertz 60 hertz and if you do this while you're in the system settings it is actually changing the system setting so you know it's, it's a it's a fine way of doing it um then obviously go into your um game and make sure the game is rendering at 720p now what's interesting is that asus actually recommend that when you do this you turn on rsr so rsr is the kind of built-in upscaling solution that uh, ROG have built into this, that ACES have built into it. Um, I've done a little bit of testing, however, and in my opinion, I was testing with Cyberpunk, you're better off going to 720p, going to, say, 60 hertz, and not having a, a AMD RSR on, or, and, and, it, and within the game as well, don't have any FSR or, or anything like that on. RSR basically is FSR1. And the reason for this, especially when you're in handheld mode, is because, well, I think anyway, is that using RSR or FSR or any of the upscaling algorithms is they, they're using the processors to, to do the upscaling. Um, and you actually do lose some performance. Now, this will probably vary incredibly by game because it depends on whether the game is, is more dependent on the um, the CPU side of the APU or the GPU side of the the APU so results will vary but I think you're better off having this at 720p having the game run at, uh, render at 720p native and then seeing what happens because what is definitely true about this panel that they have on the um, ROG Ally is that because it's variable refresh rate even low frame rates you know down to 20 frames a second look much much smoother than they would on something like a, a steam deck which is uh, well i think it's absolutely magical now what is interesting and if you get a solution to this please let me know in the comments down below is that when you go into the settings and when you go into the display um, and you go into advanced display um the active signal mode can't be changed. So what this means 
is that the screen is 920 by 1080 60 hertz and the desktop mode is 1280 by 720 and in the game it would be 1280 by 720 and i'm wondering i know on my um my uh my, my gaming pc i change it so that the active signal mode matches the desktop mode and i'm wondering if we can some way find to get the active signal mode down to the same as the desktop mode whether we might gain a few frames per second as well now i've tried all the normal things of choosing a lower refresh rate or a lower resolution and then taking it back up it could be that the active signal mode is actually fixed for this panel it's 1920 by 1080, 1080 60 hertz you know, and you can't actually change that. But as I said, I would highly recommend if you want to run a challenging game and you want more frames, um, and also you've got the non-extreme version of the Rug Ally, that going down to 720p, games still look absolutely, well, amazing, and uh, I've been very impressed indeed. Okay, so hopefully that's useful. If it has been, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe, and I will, of course, see you again soon.